Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and you are listening to The Greatest Show, the greatest podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves. We are here to talk to you about marketing yourself and how you can increase your own value, how you can increase your own value and you can com- command all the dollars that you want. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to you live today, Friday, October the 13th, 2023. Ladies and gents, it is Friday. Most of you are going to slack off all weekend, but damn it, the rest of us are going to work, work, work. Okay? You should work 24-7. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. The most important thing that you can do, anybody can do. We will talk about this right now. The most important thing that you can do. Working 24 hours a day will not will not get you very far, okay? Trust me, believe me. I've tried it. It does not work. The most important thing that you can do is work on increasing your own value. The more you increase, the more you increase your value, the more that you, you know create things, create opportunities for yourself, the better off you will be. It will, you will be able to command a higher a higher dollar amount. You will be able to command more, you know, opportunities. It's like um I I saw this I saw this 60 minute thing. 60 minutes has definitely fell off. Um 60 minutes, I mean, they used to be real good. They used to be hard hitting journalism. That was just a bunch of BS. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, most of you, some of you probably are too young to even be like, man, 60 minutes, what? But back when I was a kid growing up, 60 minutes used to be really popping, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, they did this fluff piece on a, a guy. He's an agent, and he's his name is Rich Paul. And Rich Paul, he uh, was... He partnered up with LeBron James and Rich Paul was giving us all this nonsense about how he started shooting dice and selling drugs and, how, you know, it made him become a, a great agent. No, you know, what made Rich Paul become a great agent. And with, and this is we talked about this before last week about rubbing, rubbing elbows with celebrities. Rich Paul hooked up with LeBron James, who turned out to be one of the greatest. You can't, you might can argue the great, but one of the greatest basketball players ever. Not just of a generation, but one of the greatest basketball players ever. So he hooked up with LeBron James and that helped him start his, his, his agency. Because if you say I'm a agent, I'm a sports agent, who do you work with? If you say, if he would have said he worked with a, just name a, say a basketball player that's on the bench that, he might get, uh, they might be interested a little bit, but once he said, hey, I'm LeBron James's agent, then they're going to open the door and they're going to listen to you. And there's nothing wrong with that. The problem with people is, with a lot of people, the problem with people is they don't want to, you know, it's nothing wrong with being, it's nothing wrong with knowing somebody and getting your, getting your foot in the door that way, increasing your value through them there's nothing wrong with that but a lot of people they're like no no i did it myself i did it myself but you know it's just stupid but things that you can do like we talked about to it just increase is overall just you know create content you know create content that people want to listen to being milk toast would not get you anywhere have an opinion come come strong you know be be available you know if you say hey you know every week every day, whatever, just always be creating content, be creating content that people want to listen to and gain an audience. The more audience, the, the, you're not going to, you don't have to have the biggest audience, but you want to have an audience that's going to watch what you create. You're going to, you want to have an audience that's going to buy from you. You want an audience that's going to be willing participants. The, one of the worst things you can do is have a big, big old email list and nobody click on links nobody buys anything that means you does you have an email list but it's crap you want to make sure you are all the time you know reaching out 
connecting, contacting, you know, as I told you yesterday, driving them to a link, having them click on the link you want. It's like if Netflix has a million people sign up for Netflix and nobody's, nobody actually watches the Netflix, then it's, it's cool to get the money, but who's going to, who's going to tell them about Netflix? Who's going to, it's just going to be a bunch of people that have Netflix that don't watch it. You want people, you want participating people in your circle, in your world. You want to say, Hey, you know, I, I changed this person. I helped this person. I done this. I done that. You know, the more you can do that, you know, proof, social proof, you know, the more social proof you can get, the better off you will be. You want to just always be working on, always be selling and always be working on ways to up your brand, up your, up your status level, you know, because let's say you start doing speaking engagements, you know, for $5,000, you know, the better, the better you, the better you get at it, the more, the better you, the better you get. The better you get at it, the better you do at it, the more you can command a high dollar, you know? And it's like, hey, you come into a room, $25,000, boom, man, I want to speak to the people for an hour. $25,000 worth of work is, is more than what my mom would make in like a year, maybe. And she worked hard, you know, being a nurse, being a nurse back in the day, you know? So you want to be able to, to, it's not about working more. It's about working smarter and it's about, you know, how do you work? How do you, how do you, how do you work? How do you perceive? How do people perceive you? What value do you put on yourself? What value do you put on your products? You know, you want to have some, some high ticket, some high ticket products also mixed in with some low ticket products, but you want to make sure that you have stuff that, you know, Hey, if you sell a product for a thousand dollars and five people buy it a month, it's $5,000 a month, you know, that's $60,000 a year. That's not bad at all. You know, but you also want to have mixed in, you know, pro, you know, you always want to be like a, like a, like a grocery store, you know, you always want to think about it like that, you know, I'm not saying you have to have, you, you have to be a Walmart, you can be Whole Foods, you know, you can sell things for a, a, a nice, a nice penny, you know what I'm saying? But you just want to make sure that at all times you are thinking about ways to create, to, to increase the, the visibility of you increase the visibility, the visibility of the brand that you might want. You want to increase the overall, the overall stature of you. You know, you don't want to always be an underling. You don't always want to be at the bottom with the rest of the dominions. You know what I mean? You want to, uh, the more you are able to elevate yourself, the better, the more you, command you can make, you know, and the less you have to work, work, working 24 hours a day, ladies and gentlemen, will not, does not cut the mustard. I'm telling you that right now, banging your head against the wall all day does not, will not help you one iota. Okay. Increase your value, increase your brand, figure out the marketing of what you want to do and you will be a lot further down the road than most people, okay? Figure out your angle, figure out your story, figure out how do you want to say it? Why do you want to say it? And you can say it over and over and over, you know? If you ever listen to people like Dan Kennedy or Jim Rohn or, you know, Zig Ziglar, they tell the same stories, you know? They might put it in a different context, but they tell the same stories. And there's nothing wrong with that. I enjoy... The way they, I, I listen to them to, to listen to the way they set up stories, the way they tell stories, you know, how, you know, the way they talk, you know, and these guys were getting paid like 25, 50,000, 75,000 dollars to speak, you know? So you always want to be mindful of, you know, you don't have to, you could tell, you know, practice, practice, practice. If you, if you don't, if you're nervous to talk or you're nervous to write, Practice, practice, practice. The more you do it, the better off you will be. Write every day, talk every day, you know, look in the mirror every day if you have to, do whatever, you know, but just work on you, work on the brand, work on you. The more you work on yourself, the further along you will be, all right? And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Check out all the other episodes we have. We have 600 and something episodes. We're getting close to 700. Uh, check them all out. Tell a friend to tell a friend. 
download, download, download. Um, go to Spotify. Check us out. We need a lot more people going to the Spotify. All right. So if you know, you know somebody, tell them to go to Spotify. Download it. Follow the show. We have all kinds of episodes you can listen to. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with all new episode. Like I said. But until then, God bless. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.